Hello everybody, Terrence Pop here with another episode from the either transitional or semi lair. <laughs> Uh, I said a couple uh, weeks ago that there's going to be some uh, transitioning going on. Um, I'm in the middle of retiring from the United States Army after 33 years of service, three wars, yada yada. You've heard the whole deal before. With that being said, uh, the collar that has been around our or my neck, which has been holding me back for the past five years, will be off coming May 1st. And shit's going to fucking go off the hook. I'm not even fucking around because the filter has been knocked off and I got blown up in Iraq and I have no problem moving forward and I don't give a fuck speed. And that's exactly what's going to happen. Now I want to start off here. I want to answer a question uh, to one of the dudes out there and he left it one of the comments basically stating uh, why the hell I didn't kick the shit out of my ex-wife when she pulled her shenanigans and smoked my dog. Well. In today's day and age, if I would have done that, I would have been literally crucified. I would have lost my ability to own and have firearms. I would have instantly lost in divorce. Um, not that that didn't happen anyway. Um, it just would have happened before I even went to court. And I would have had to deal with restraining orders and all the other horse shit and being on people's fucking radars and fucking lists and I, it's just not worth it at the moment when that was going on i was very fucking angry and evil pop and bad pop wanted to do some bad shit and then good pop just made me do the about face and walk out for a week and calm down so we got that out of the or out of the way all right now the major changes that i'm talking about that's going to happen with this show is right now we have the Friday episodes, which basically we go after uh, some of the feminist ideas and, or some of my other you know funny theories from the past or what's going on right now. Uh, we're going to continue to do that, but we are going to be moving our, our footprint out to other platforms. Uh, right now we have a very good presence on uh, Daily Motion. Uh, we're going to be moving into um, a Live Leak. We're trying to get on mines, but for whatever reason, I haven't been able to get that started. Because um, when I sign up, they're supposedly to send me an email and they haven't done it yet. So if anyone out there has an, an account on mines or knows the people who run mines, have them get a hold of me so we can unfuck this whole fucking dick triangle fucking scenario we have going on. We are trying to put up a, a presence on Amazon. But uh, their site is still in the beta phase and it's really hard um, and complicated to upload videos onto that. So when we do get onto that, it's probably going to be some of the older stuff, uh, maybe between 10 and 20 episodes of the best episodes in our opinion uh, that Redonkulous has put out over the past five years. A lot of people out there have wanted us to do merchandising. Uh, that is going to happen. Uh, you'll be able to link to it from redonkulous.com. It's going to go to another domain called uh, Patrol Base. I believe it's patrolbase.net or .com. You don't really need to know that URL. URL. It's basically just go to redonkulous.com and you'll find it. Uh, and I think I've, I've got five or six different spellings of redonkulous and they're all going to be pointing to the website. So even if you spell it all fucked up, it's, it should still take you there. Hang on a minute. Okay, now some of the merchandise is, some of the merchandise we're gonna have is t-shirts. And we're gonna have other uh, merchandise like uh, you know mugs, maybe some pocket knives, and maybe some you know greeting or warning cards to keep in your wallet. So when crazy shit goes on, you can pull it out it's like a miniature flow chart to walk you through how to handle the situation. Uh, so you're young. You know, mangina, bitch brain minds out there don't want walking either getting married in Vegas or winding up in jail. Those are both options suck. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, um, a lot of guys asked for uh, ringtones. We're gonna be putting together, you know, starting off like five different ringtone packages, and then we're gonna bring it up to as many as we can get, um, and put together between you know five different to ten different ringtones per package, and sell them out there for like ninety nine cents a piece, you know, and then you guys can put them on your phones and you can you know share the wisdom. <laughs> All right, what else we got here? Uh, oh, I need a guy. I need a guy who knows how to do apps, okay? I want to put together some apps to sell 
out there too. These are comedy apps, so people, if they want to get upset about it, that's fine. All, right off the bat, these are just for entertainment purposes only. Uh, for instance, uh, homeless suspicion points, which is basically uh, Gadar using math. I like to put a, you know, put an application uh, for that you can use on your smartphone at the bar. Uh, another one for cougar scales, you know, time limits for ass, so booty call mileage, um, and probably five or six more. Okay, and then you'll have them on your apps. You you can share them with your friends, and um, they can you know laugh and maybe learn something too because. I've been doing this for about five years, and uh, it took me a while to grow the fuck up and have the big head overpower the little head, and that had to happen when I was in court. But if somebody had been around when I was younger and taught me these lessons and then included comedy, so it would break through um, a lot of the stereotypical feminist dogma that we're all brought up with, I think things could have been different for me. Well, it's too late for me, but not for you. All right, uh, we're going to continue doing the hate mail episodes uh, because, let's face it, um, that is one of the few joys left in my life and it warms my black dead heart. There you go. Nothing more needs to be said. <laughs> uh, I, will continue to, uh, fa um, I will continue to field questions, uh, give advice and stuff, and uh, if, you want, if it's a good question or a good piece of advice, and you want me to talk about it on the show, please let me know in whatever you send me that you authorize me to be talking about it on the show. Um, I will probably take any identifying features out of the question or email uh, that identifies you so you know, you're still anonymous and you'll be good to go. If you just want to keep it personal between you and I, that's fine too. You don't have to have read on the show. I mean, I'm not going to force anything like that. You know, even if you send me some really fucking heinous shit, I'm not going to put on the show unless you expressly say it's okay. Okay, some more format changes. Uh, we're going to start branching out and doing some comedy skits. Some of the ones that I have in mind are uh, wingman etiquette. Uh, I want to actually have a bar situation where we actually go through what a wingman is supposed to do, what he's not supposed to do, and so forth like that, including competing with other wingmen from other people. Because it turns all it turns into a crazy uh, trigonometry cock blocking scenario, which is quite funny when you actually step back and look at it from a you know calm distance. Uh, another one, I, since I have two daughters, I want to do a couple of videos called Stalker Dad. I think that would be hilarious. I know you guys out there, you got daughters, you got kids out there. You're worried they're gonna go do stupid shit. Well, in today's day and age, you can, you know, track their car from space, you can track their phone from GPS, you can buy micro bugs, you can put tracker chips in purses and in wallets. I mean, you, you could be up your kid's ass all 24 seven and they would never know it. And it would actually be funny if the stalker dad does that and then goes after or briefs people that he's been stalking in regards to interactions with his children. Cause you know, let's face it, that's fucking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> and then I want to do another one called uh, the old grunt viewpoint where we'll show videos or things that are happening uh, today or have happened and then you guys will have your viewpoint of how you see it now and then you'll see it from an old grunt who's actually you know got three or four decades worth of experience in how the world looks and what is going on in that particular scenario like from the 1970, 80, early 90 viewpoint, because I can guarantee you it'll be hilarious and it is very, very different. <laughs> All right, we're also want to do some podcasts. Um, we're thinking of doing them on either a weekly or bi-weekly basis. Uh, we want to have an actual live show, a comedy show once a month, uh, where everyone that's involved in Patreon can get in, no problem. And if they're not, it'll, I think it'll be like, like maybe two or three dollars. We'll probably just go at two. Uh, so you can, it'll be a minimum of a half an hour. And it'll be me standing up there, either going through some of the older stuff, current events, or going through some of my, uh, my comedy routines. I need to clean that up. I'm not going to lie to you. But um, like anything else, it just takes practice. And I think I can get that down uh, pretty quickly. Uh, let's see. Another thing that uh, Blake likes to do, and actually I, I kind of kind of funny, is we're probably going to do some movie reviews, past and present, 
Uh, we have to be really careful with the present movies that are coming out. There's a lot of rules you have to follow. The older ones, once they're out of the box office and you know on the tail end of DVD dis distribution, you have a lot more leeway. So some of them might have to wait to that point for legality reasons. Um, I think that actually work out pretty good. All right, now the boards and the graph videos will continue, uh, but a lot of those videos require math or something that's graphable to actually make them funny. Um, you know, there are probably four to five sentences written on there so you can laugh at my non-spelling fucking prowess, which you know, some people find it hilarious. But uh, it, it is what it is. Now, as we all know, uh, YouTube is basically going full retard out there on a lot of the um, middle, uh, right, and alt-right uh, groups out there. And in my opinion, they're shooting them themselves in the foot. And when they start to lose market share, they're probably going to get the shit suit out of them, especially Mark Zuckerberg, because he took his that company public. And I can almost guarantee you that if you go through the board meeting notes, none of the shit he's doing was covered. So it's going to blow up in his face. But between that time and now, we're going to try to move our presence to other platforms. Now, going with the ridiculous viewpoint of admit nothing, deny everything, and always make counter accusations. Uh, we do have a lot of trolls that are flagging a lot of our videos for no reason whatsoever. And you can see this because some of these videos have between one and five down votes and we have you know, 700 to 2,000 upvotes. And some of these are still getting flagged and demonetized. Now somebody's fucking around with something. So, it's a guerrilla warfare. When you go up against an opponent that has you outrun, outgunned, out fucking resourced, you are, you're fucked. Unless you do it the smart way. Fight smarter, not harder. So, you gentlemen out there, if you're sick of this shit, go find the liberal sites out there, watch their videos, and flag their asses too. That way, they're not just looking at my stuff, or the MGTOW red pill community, or the conservative side of the house. They also have to manage the non-conservative liberal side of their own channel. Okay, that is very labor intensive. All right, I don't care what you say. And it might, be, it might come to the point where it becomes just cost ineffective. You know, that's just the way it is. All right, so I, I'm sorry I didn't, wasn't able to film at my old lair. I'm moving that. I'll probably be able to do two or three more from there until I'm done. I pull up stakes 100% and come back to the Detroit metro area. All right, with any, is there anything else, gentlemen? If not, please, comments and questions below. Or you can send an email to me directly at redonkulous12 at gmail.com. You guys have a good evening. <laughs>